Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the uh, Pokemon Neo Draft League. We just got done drafting for uh, Season 7, so... My team's on top. Uh, Sunken's team is on the bottom here. I thought I had this lined up, but I do not. There we go. <clears throat> um, we are in the FA period here, so they could change up their team if they so want to. They haven't made no changes yet though. And they got till they got another like nine hours I wanna say. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep. And if they change the team, I'll just add a second little part to this after the fact. <coughs> so from here. I remember I flicked up this team a bit earlier. I noticed uh, their fastest mon is Alakazam with 120 speed, so I have nothing faster than it. But Terrakion is 108. It's fast, one point faster than Blacephalon, which is their main problem for my team here. It looks like. That being said, I could scarf Terrakion in case they scarf Blacephalon. And it will give me an answer for Alakazam as well, which might pose an issue in a bit. So, Terrakion. <coughs> they have two dark types, but one of them doesn't like spamming dark type moves, aka Malamar. So, getting this justified boost if I want to go for it is going to be a little difficult. And the only one weak to dark on this team is Kofagrigus. So I'll have to bait that. But I think Scarf is fine. I'm going to go close combat just for damage. Because that's all Terrakion is really here for. Damage, good speed. Uh, we'll go ahead and put Rock Slide because it's safer than Stone Edge. And I do not want to play with Stone Edge missing. <coughs> this actually also outspeeds Lycan Rock Dust too. And Excel Rock's not touching me, so. I also noticed on their team earlier as well, one resist for Rock type. And it's just the Magneton, and that's it. And that thing does not want to take a close combat. I couldn't make a point for Sacred Sword, but... Nothing's really going to be setting up defense besides maybe Deoxys defense cosmic power. Uh, we'll go ahead and put X Scissor. Just so I can have a move for Alakazam, Malamar. If I feel Zorak or Deoxys defense are in, I can use it too. Well, not Deoxys defense, Zorak, if I feel like that thing's in. And, well, do I want X's or Mega Horn? Terrakion. First things first, let's see what I need to outspeed out Alakazam. Not Mega. Normal. <coughs> okay, so I could be adamant. I outspeed max speed timid with zero speed investment. Timid trace. So I could basically just say if Alakazam outspeeds Terrakion is scarf two. That gives me a chance to live a psychic. And lets me live a focus blast if they go for that. 
Mega Horn guarantee kills. I'm gonna do change the setup a bit. I want Rock Slide. It's like a type. Do I have anything that would hit Landorus at least decently? Hidden Power's banned, I can't use that. Uh, no. I do not have anything for this. <coughs> I don't have any fairy types either. And you don't learn dark move. I guess I could just throw an earthquake. Well, no, it's in headbutt. It's like that. Minor cut, but it's fine. X scissor. Uh, I was talking about Zen Headbutt for the Mega Heracross. x kills Alakazam, unless it's Sash, which it could be, which would pose an issue. Slanderous Eye, what does it take? 46 to 54%. <coughs> so it's taken that. Deoxys defense is the one I'm worried about here. Does Megahorn at least two hit? It's a guarantee two hit. <coughs> but if I miss, I'm screwed. Can Deoxys defense even kill me though? Let's just say max defense four there. Spikes damage, yes. And actually max it's a roll. So I might as well just keep it. I think I keep X Scissor, and then I just go ahead. If Deox defense comes out, I just switch. Uh, what else? Roserade. Roserade can wall me, so I need something for it. Is it headbutt kills that? Mega Heracross. Do I at least two hit if it's chance? <coughs> you got a stronger psychic movement. No, you do not. That's unfortunate. But at least it will catch it if it tries to switch in on something. And Blacephalon has to be careful because if I predict it coming in on a close combat, I could just rock slide and just rock that thing's world. I know I want max attack adamant. It's kind of the whole point in the speed. Well, the damage, but... Actually, no. I can't do that. I don't know what drugs I'm on. Because Blacephalon, if that thing's scarfed, it just outspeeds me. Sure, I outspeed non speed form, but if it's max speed and it's scarf, I'm screwed. I could afford 240. 
I'll throw the 16 in the special defense. It'll make you jolly. There it goes. Alright, so that's the first one on the team there. Do I say good? I could technically switch in on a Blacephalon side shot. I probably won't because that's an awful idea, but I could. <laughs> so that's our Scarfer. Cryogon. Absolutely zero water types. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Rapid spin. I know that. They have hazards and no hazard removal really besides Landorus. Ice Beam. I could run Signal Beam. They have a bunch of bug weaknesses. And unless they're Scarf Landers, uh, I can outspeed that and kill it. Could do Ancient Power for the Bullcephalon. <laughs> Probably want Leftovers on you. Do I want recover or do I want to put knockoff on here? I know I have base 50 attack, but it doesn't exactly have the best defense stat. Knockoff is 50%. Uninvested too. Well, almost 50. I need eight with Timid. That ensures that I can hit the Blacephalon and at least cripple it. And I survive a Flamethrower too with max HP. I, I think I would just go recover here. It shouldn't hurt. Um, max special attack, modest. I have recover on here. <coughs> I'd want fast. I don't know if the. What do I need for Landorus? I hope I don't need to invest for this, but maybe I do. I ain't using freeze dry. That weak shit out of here. I literally have no reason to run freeze dry over ice beam here. I kill Landorus, uh, Haxorus.
168 guarantees a kill. If they're not bulky. So 168. Max special. Max speed. Timid. Rescue gun to HP. Does that let me live anything? Hell no. At least not from hacks or sword. Gives me progress there. Landorus, can I come in on safely? Sheer force. Rock slide now. Uh, Blacephalon. I could survive a Scarfed Flamethrower, but that's it. <coughs> After that, I need to just like switch out and come in and recover spam. Do I need out speed lander or so? I think yeah. I think I want to. Let me just check something. Lander is Sucker Punch is a two hit, but if it hits me, I'm dead, so. <laughs> Choice Ban won't even help that. Bisharp helps against other mons, like Deoxys Defense, Alakazam, Malamar we could help with. Magneton would probably give it an issue. Sucker Punch on Blacephalon would hurt. It could wall Kangaskhan if they don't have Drain Punch. If they do, then I'm dead. But they do have three psychic types, and I would love a psychic immunity, so. Bisharp. I think we just do this just in case something happens. Sucker Punch. Knock off. Iron Head. Not defense, please, no. I'm curious on how that works. I'm going to look that up real quick. Lash out defiant. That's cool. They don't have Intimidate. Because apparently it does double it. I think I just want to move just in case uh, Magneton wants to come in on me. I think the move is Brick Break. Uh, 
I don't know why I opened that. I have this. First off, knockoff's just gonna hurt. Second off, uh, brick break. There's a little bit more than knockoff does. <coughs> so I don't even really need brick break. If I click knockoff in the sucker punch, I kill it. It will hurt me back though. I could do pursuit. That's a gamble, but I could do it. Because if I send this out against Alakazam, they're gonna want to switch. I could pursuit trap it, get the damage off. And if I send it out against Kangas, well, no, not Kangas Khan, full Cephalon maybe. They fear the sucker punch. They switch. I could pursuit hit. It's kind of weak, but. And I have three dark type moves on this set. And then Iron Head. Ooh, I'm going to have to play really careful with this fish art. <laughs> but it's either Pursuit or it's Stealth Rocks. And I could just do something else for Stealth Rocks. I have Nitto King, too. I already have my reference man. That begs the question, actually. I have Levitate. I'm already needing the spikes. Uh, rocks hurt. And I have Recover, so. Defiant. Pursuit's like a one-time thing, though. The second they see it, they're going to always worry about it. Bishop is literally slower than their entire team. All their mods are in the hundreds, basically. Or, well, their slowest is 70 with Magneton. Then it goes to 73, 75... Poor Bisharp. <laughs> That's not helping you. You don't need that. Just take the HP, man. So I got Cryogonal with Rapid Spin. I got a Trapper with Sucker Punch or Pursuit, so I give them the 50-50. Do they want to take the Sucker or do they want to take the Pursuit if I make the right call? I got damage here. They have four months weak to Fairy, only three resist. And the resist are Rosary, Magneton, both of which are slower than Mega Gardevoir, and what's your third fairy resist? Oh, Blacephalon, which is faster, but I, I may have an answer for the Blacephalon anyways, besides the Vishart. Does Gardevoir need to come? Not really, but it does help. <coughs> uh, we trace. And I don't know how Swartz does the Megas. I do not remember. I'm doing this for safety.
Psychic. This also gives me another Heracross answer too, because I am faster than it. I will kill that thing. Last resort option right there. But I think I just put Blast and I put Shadow Ball on here. <coughs> just what I normally want on Gardevoir. And the only ones faster are Alakazam. Which Shadow Ball is probably doing about 60, 70 percent maybe. Is it 60 or 70? Alakazam. Sixty-two seventy. I was partially correct. I'll take it. And I know this doesn't kill. Huh. Do I need to be modest to kill? That won't kill either. Okay. But anyways, tell me it is. Alakazam. That's faster. Blacephalon, I do not want to stay in on Blacephalon. I may put the other answer on there because Blacephalon. Blacephalon hits Cryogonal and Gardevoir, and that's it. Maybe Bisharp. Yeah, I'll put the other answer. Come on, Quag. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Does Blacephalon get Energy Ball? No Hidden Power. You get Solar Beam, but they don't have Sun. This also stops just Mind Blown. I don't think they'll run Mind Blown, but... They don't have... They probably won't run Mind Blown. Even if they do this, we'll take it anyways. Uh, no water types. Maybe water type coverage, but that's basically it. Unaware. I'm not dealing with Beast Boost at all. Scald for Burns. Lander Sai is special too, right? It's physical still. I only take damage from Earth Power, really. That's physical. Skull 2 hit KOs. What about Ice Beam? No. That one. Damn. <coughs> Does Waterfall? No, basically the same as called. Scald, Earthquake, Blizzard though. Uh, I don't think I need to worry about Lander's Eye. It can hurt Quag, but it can't touch Cryogonal really. Unless it has Rock Slide, and Terrakion just comes in on that. <coughs> and if it's Scarf too, it gets screwed. If it predicts wrong. Plus Assault Vest Quag. That's leftovers. What if I put a salt vest? We do that instead of that. I just put the little four here. Oh, 
Oh, that's an answer if I've ever seen one. Just for an assumption's sake. I'm worried about this move here. Actually, why am I worried about that? Even if they run leftovers, they're not going to do that much anyway, so... I'll put the four in attack, and we'll just do sassy. This also deals with like dragon ants, Haxorus that might want to come in. Just god burn it. I'm unaware I can take its hits. I mean, it will hurt, but. That's the Blacephalon answer. Now, I could make this team go very well together, throw Levani on there, they have one fire type, but I have two fire weaknesses already, and if I do that, it's dangerous, but I can get webs up, guaranteed speed, and I could just own the speed control, uh, or I could throw mint on there for intimidate. I don't want to say Levani is the right answer. I think it's Mint because I could run Wish, Intimidate, or I could run like Moxie and the second Scarf. It also helps me with Landorus Eye too. A sludge bomb just in case I don't want to burn nothing I can poison something Ooh, that's kind of tempting just to be a retard I have Scald, which hits Landorus. I don't learn anything. Break, break. That hits Zork. A uh, Scald Burn would deal with the Haxorus. Sludge Bomb Poison to deal with the Oxus. Scald Burn Hair Across. And some more Scalds. Kangaskhan Scald Burn. Probably Brick Break after that. Blacephalon, Scald, and the Earthquake. Well, actually, Earthquake would just be better. Rose Raid's gonna suck. Uh, Alakazam, probably just Earthquake if it comes in. Magneton's EQ, Lycanroc's EQ, Malamar is... Deal with it when I come to it. Probably Earthquake. He's in Three bug weaknesses. Tons of grass answers. One dragon weakness, one dragon answer. Do I want speed control or do I want to control the physical attack of Mons? Like Haxorus and Mega Heracross.
because I know I have Mega Gardevoir to deal with Heracross. Levani adds another issue for Placephalon. Salamence gives another resist to Placephalon. I think Salamence would be fine. Wish Protect, that's healing. And I can pass that to Quagsire, which will probably need it because it's Soul Vest, no recovery there. It also helped Gardevoir and Terrakion out, who all have pretty similar health to Salamence. Uh, Dual Wing Beat just obliterates Heracross. That's not an issue. It'll beat Rosary too. Earthquake hits Magneton, which might want to switch in, and Lycanroc, if they want to come in on dual wing B. And then Intimidate will just come in, switch in on the Haxorus, deal with that. I also have a Fairy type, so Haxorus can't spam stuff like Outrage. have a leftovers one because I took it off yeah screw it I was I don't think there's an item rule anyway so I should be fine but it does help to, to diversify a bit <coughs> I don't know when but at some point we will run scarf moxie and just tear through a team that's the plan scarf moxie dual wing beat kill something and actually, Dual Wing Beat is actually even better. Because they run Scarf Bacephalon, or Scarf Alakazam, and I could get Salamence in. I could Dual Wing Beat, break a Sash, and then hit again and possibly kill. Lycanroc Dust is another issue, though. Hey, Lycanroc Dust is not like Quag at all. Especially after I Scald Burn it. Actually, Earthquake has a chance to kill. And I moved that. Uh, Salamence? Do you take an Acceleroc? You take one. And you kill with an Earthquake. I could switch you in if needed. Actually, no, I can't. I can't switch you in on a fighting move. Barely just can't deal with that. Uh, is there anyone that I'm currently worried about outspeeding? It'd probably be Heracross. Yeah. Mega Heracross, 249. Can I be adamant? Adamant with some speed. Adamant. It's 56 speed. Max attack. 200 HP. <coughs> that lets me outspeed Mega Heracross if I come in on it. So if something dies, I can send this out, Intimidate. I am not Moxie. Just say, it's applied. I can live a Rock Blast and Revenge Kill. I could switch in on this thing clean 
and then wish protect. I don't have anything super effective on for the Haxorus besides the Gardevoir and Cryogonal, but they should be fine. So we got Wish Protect Mints with Dual Wing Beat Earthquake, Assault Vest Unaware Quag, mostly for Bacephalon and Alakazam. It may be Landers if he runs it special, which he should if he wants all the benefits of the uh, Sheer Force Life Orb. Gardevoir, just pretty standard. Okay, so I could go ahead and I was debating whether I should switch to synchrony synchronoise, but I don't think that helps me very much here. They're not gonna be stab spamming me. Maybe Deoxys, but that's it. And I have rapid spin. Uh heavy duty boost, so they can't toxic spike spam me either. But I also don't have any hazards for them. I could get rid of hazards easily. And make it hard for them to set it up. They just have no hazard removal. So I kind of want to bring something. But... <coughs> I don't want to get rid of Sucker Punch or Pursuit. I think those are both helpful. I think this team's fine. Trace will also tell me if they're using Illusion on the Mon. So if I send out Gardevoir before I Mega, I could just lead Mega Gar Gardevoir. And if it doesn't give me an ability with Trace, I could just Mega and just straight up Hyper Voice on it. Because they could try and bluff like Blacephalon. And I live a sludge bomb. Guard of but how much do I take from said sludge bomb? Zor choice specs. I take ninety one from specs. If there's something like expert belt. 73 but I always kill back so I could just leave that save myself the issue and then they'll probably think oh he's uh, synchronized so he could just have a ability before he megas and I know they're an imposter I mean illusion or if I come in on the Bacephalon oh I need to I kind of want to put speed control on here now. Because if I could come in on Blacephalon before I Mega, kill it with Shadow Ball, get the Beast Boost, Mega Evolve, that's a free plus one Mega Gardevoir right there. But I don't think that's going to work out. I would probably die. Probably by Accelerock like a rock. Anyway. The Trapper, Bisharp. With knockoff Iron Head, Life Orb Defiant. So if anything lowers my stats, we're good. Rapid Spin Ice Beam. Just has a removal with Levitate. <coughs> and Recover. So I got two months with Recovery. Would have three, but. And I have a Revenge Killer here. He's gonna do something. Especially with Exorcism. Like he's gonna tear through this team. But, I'll see y'all guys in the- Hello guys, welcome back. We're about to battle Zonkin right now, so let's go ahead and uh, 
accept this, see what he's got. A really bulky team. Alright, this is going to be fun. Uh, let me go ahead. Seems bad as well. Assuming the Discord decides to keep up. So, probably fake out Kangas Kong. Sprite Gaming, okay. I haven't seen them around. Oh yeah, I didn't put no speed in Selma until I put some. I forgot why I did that, but... It does not outspeed a single thing on their team. It might be Hazard's Deoxys. Actually, even if it's Magneton, I could just leave Knock Off to Roserade. Hidden Power is banned, so they can't use that one. Rosary, does it have anything that it could hit Scizor with? Not Scissor, Bisharp. Spikes, Grassy Glide, Fury Cutter. Nothing I'm seeing now. I click Knock Off here. Wait, Rosary didn't have an item. I'm so I'm confused. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt a lot. Magneton comes in, right? I do not want to send you back out. <coughs> yeah, Magneton. I could just send a quag here. Oh yeah, I'm a solvent this too. That's PG. Nice. Lando comes in there. Uh, on the earthquake. Take a scald, my friend. You've shown U turn so far. They took life orb damage. That's no sheer force Lando either. That's sand force. Or is sheer force not allowed? Bulls. Nothing's restricting landers. They could have done anything. I just click scald again. If I burn something, I think it's good. I think I live one hit, and if I kill Landorus, then that's even better. <coughs> so there's no item on Roserade. No Sheer Force on Lando. Please burn the Kangaskhan. Thank you. Now he comes in for the Intimidate. Why did I do that? Oh, that's fine. <coughs> Don't 
I earth click on the Magnus Hunt switch. Or do I wish and then hopefully get into like Crygon or Plague? I think I just do a wing beat for damage. It should be fine. Even if Magnus well, no, if Magneton came in, I would be in trouble. I, I definitely have an issue there. Like, I could come in on this. <coughs> Bishop's about to do his thing. That's fine. I click Pursue. 100% of the time. You never stay in. <coughs> Switch. <coughs> I click knockoff on the hopes that you dragon dance here. And if you don't, Cryogono comes in and kills you. Bad play. Sucker punch. Trapper Bisharp's doing his job. No options. I just sucker punch here for damage. Actually, no, I think he did lost because I have Choice Guard Teraki on. I just come in and I click rock slide. Well, actually, close combat is probably safer. <coughs> I think two close combats kill Landorus. It's not intimidate either. <coughs> now, he probably doesn't know I'm Scarf, but if he. Okay, Landorus comes out. I click hit or go straight to like mints. I think I just go to mints. Prefer preserve the differential real quick. Oh, he predicted it. Okay, well the quest coming out then. Jeez. Well, maybe you expect a Crygon. You're faster than it, so just kill it. Oh, Sheer Force just lets you take life or damage if your move doesn't have a secondary effect. I just thought I got rid of all. Well. Showed life orb earlier because it took damage, but now it's not taking life orb damage. I'm a little confused. I'm just gonna double check after this video and try to figure out what the heck happened. Yeah, I just sent out Teraki on here and just kill. <coughs> Something takes the damage. Oh, stupid. Come on. Terrakion. I'm adamant, correct? No, I am Jolly. Okay. Wanderous. Close combat is 33 to 39. Unless he's bulky, he dies. No, 
know, he's saying Lifo kills him. But he... Oh, no, it's right there in the little words. He still has the five free agents, so I don't know what he's talking about. He made a mistake. He could easily fix his team, but his team's not even really that bad. At least in my eyes, three plays. That is, that's the replay, okay. <coughs> All right, so we started off with a win. Let's see if we will continue this or if we will drop this ball heavily and just lose the season. Till next time, guys, enjoy.